Come on, who doesn't like Dinobots? And who doesn't like upgrade kits? But what about Dinobots with upgrade kits? We're going to look at upgrade kits for this guy over here, the Studio Series 86 Slug, or Slag if you prefer, as well as Studio Series 86 Grim, uh, not Grimlock, Sludge. Both of these guys with their upgrade kits. That's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. <laughs> Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. <coughs> Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. And it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that in the description down below. Also in the description down below. And if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring. Or, of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. Um, and this is the upgrade kits. Well, there's a number of upgrade kits, right? This is going to be a... A couple of the upgrade kits for this guy. A couple of the upgrade kits for this guy. Um, and for the most part, I'm pretty darn happy with them. There are different options. That's one of the things that's been nice about the Studio Series 86 um, Dinobot so far is that there's no shortage of upgrade kits to really kind of perfect them a bit. Like I, some time ago, looked at a number of kits for this guy, uh, including arm fillers. That might have been by Matrix Workshop. I can't recall for 100%. As well as some three, uh, 3D printed upgrade kits um, that I had. Uh, I got a couple of sets of front teeth, um, a couple of different swords. So like Grimlock kind of got that <clears throat> that upgrade treatment. But now these do these two do as well. Huge shout out to our buddy Joe for sending these kits my way. Are they any good? What do they change? How do they improve things? Well, how about without any further ado, we head over to the table and take a closer look at these guys. And here we are with the Dinobots, the Studio Series 86 Dinobots. Now, some time ago, I looked at <clears throat> at some upgrade kits for Grimlock. Most notably, um, it was weird. I kind of done it in two parts. I had some uh, parts that were 3D printed from our buddy Justin from the 3D Corner, which did provide some new teeth, though I didn't use those. There was a forearm filler, um, and uh, I think he had a sword as well, which I do have put aside for now. Then our buddy Joe, big shout out to Joe, sent uh, the, I don't remember which set it was now. Superman Studio, maybe? I can't recall. It might have been Matrix Workshop. I can't recall. Um, but that provided us with these forearm fillers that are a little bit of a different shade of gray, but they do fill in the form and they're just screwed in and uh, they hide the hand when you do the transformation. Plus, it gave us teeth back here, upper teeth, for Grimlock that really you glue in, basically. So our Grimlock got upgraded, but our boy Slug, or Slag if you prefer, and Sludge did not get any upgrades until right now. So we're gonna take two of these guys out of it, namely Grimlock and Sludge for now, and we're gonna look at what we have different for our buddy Slug, or Slag if you prefer, next. Okay, and we begin right at the very tippy top with the head and specifically his horns. Now there's two versions of this set you can get. One with red horns and one with, uh, of course, the cartoon accurate, the show accurate, um, gray, I guess we're going to call it. The horns that were in there were hollow on the uh, inside and they were just held on with two little clips here. So while the horn was here, uh, I guess maybe this way. I guess this was the horn for over here. While it was in here, no problem. You could just pull it out. There was no problem doing that. No fear. Nothing felt like it might break or anything like that. It was fine. And then these just push in the exact same way. It was very smooth, very easy to exchange these. These horns have no hollowness whatsoever. And so they don't stand so high in robot mode, they also turn out and come down more by the frill, which means when you turn the guy around, they're down lower, as they should be because they were down lower in the cartoon. So I absolutely dig that. Then we get to, 
you know, from the top here, we get down to the, I guess the, the calves of his legs. And you will probably notice that both calves now look very different. This is the stock calf over here, just the way that it always was. And when we transform it, we pull out this side and we flip out the leg and we open it out. It means the back of the leg is quite hollow. Now, this to put on was a chore and a bear. The thing doesn't come with any instructions, which is a bummer. But beyond that, it was like, oh, man, it's not intuitive how this goes on. Like the pictures that you see from a couple of the sites where the um, set is. And by the way, for those who don't know, and if I didn't say it already, this is the Go Better Studio set. Um, this is how you kind of have to do it. So I'm just going to very quickly transform kind of this leg over here. So we would open that out normally and we would flip out. I might have to get this foot here out of the way. We would flip out this leg, right? I guess I can bring that foot up and bring this down. And then we would just open out and open out the leg. And when we do so, as you can see here, it's hollow, right? It's hollow back here and hollow up here. This isn't hollow, but these two pieces are. And some people don't mind it. Some people are like, ah, oh, I really don't like that. So what's the alternative? Well, the alter alternative is this upgrade kit. So you open that out as you normally would. And you, of course, oh, got to take the foot in again. You flip the leg out as you always would. Once you have the leg flipped out, this is where things start to get a little bonkers and a little bit different and interesting. Let me just get those arms up. We come here and we're going to flip this out and we're going to open this whole section out. So we're opening out like the entire leg section. Then we're going to bring this out, okay, as we always did. And now we're going to bring out this foot piece. When we bring out this foot piece, we need to open this foot piece up like that, okay? Then with this foot piece open, and if we're smart, we're gonna get here and use a hinge and get it in all out of the way. With all that done, this whole piece now comes up and over. And I just put it in there by accident, and I shouldn't, I'm pressing it and I shouldn't be. I'm going to bring that up. There's a little lip there that just goes in under the little edge right there and then we can push the rest of the leg in. Then we straighten out the leg here and straighten this out and bring this up. So that now, I'll bring this up, the leg looks like this. You can see the difference on both sides, right? You have this one over here where it's hollow on the back, this one here where it's not, and now we have an ankle tilt in as well. Putting this on is a nuisance, an absolute nuisance. The way you're supposed to do it is that you, let's see if I can, see if I can show this. There's a screw here and a screw here on the leg. So we got two screws here and here. You need to take out both of those screws. Once you have both of those screws out, you can see um, a section, one uh, side of it is just rounded. The other side of it has little notches in it. You're going to remove the stock piece, which just looks like this. And then you're going to take this piece. This piece is the new leg. And you're going to put it on over. When you put it on over, you're probably even going to want to bend it out like this. When you put it on over, it will go um, around the section where it's just rounded. Right? There's no little notches or anything. It's just rounded. So that'll go on and come over here to the side. Then you're going to take this piece and you're going to turn it like this. Not, not like this. You're going to turn it like this. Maybe even open it up. And when you do so, you're going to put it in, um, I guess, the other section. And you'll notice there's a little notch right here. That little notch will go over, you guessed it, the notches that are there. There's no instructions for this. It is brutal uh, to try and figure it out. But once you do it, it's great. The other thing that this comes with, the last thing that this set comes with is feet fillers. Now, I'm gonna show the feet fillers, but 
And then I'm going to show you what the leg should look like uh, before you put these on, if I can. I'm not trying to do it on camera because honestly, the screws are so small and whatnot. I just, I can't see it to do it on camera, but I'm going to attempt to show you that. We'll see if it succeeds. If it ain't in the video, then it means that I didn't succeed. Okay, so I took out both screws from inside the leg and I removed the old leg piece. And you'll notice on this side, it's all very circular. On the other side, it has like little star notches. Well, basically, we want to take the new foot with the ankle kind of tilted in and put this in. Now, here's the funny thing. When I found some pictures, it suggested that you put this on first. I find that what you really need to do is put this piece on first. And again, that notch will notch over some of those little notches there. I was tempted to put it on this way, but because I know that that's the orientation the notch needs to go, I would put it on this way. It's, you gotta flex the plastic to do it, so it's a bit of a nightmare to do it, but I'm gonna put it on and then show you with this piece on. Just like that. Now you'll notice we have a little bit of space here. We're gonna flex this again and we're gonna get the ankle in. Again, if you're wondering about the orientation of the ankle, fold it in this way, right? That way you know the way that it needs to go. Now we have both pieces in and it should look like this. I'm gonna put the screws in and then from uh, assembly here, I'm gonna show you how the transformation works. And so there we are with both of the old feet now off. I mean, I wouldn't throw them away. I would hold on to them. I mean, if something was to happen and one of these breaks or something like that, you wanna be able to put them back on. I also now have the two screws put on in the inside of the leg and I have this opened in here. I'm gonna open this out and I'm actually going to bring this leg up. Oh, and I'm going to now open out that piece and we're going to bring it all the way up around and let it slide in. Now we're going to close this back up and bring this out. We're going to bring this leg up and boom, with that down. Now you can see both of the backs of the legs are filled in. To go back to robot mode, I'll show that again. Um, just for anybody who gets this set themselves and they're not sure, we open that piece out as we always did. We open our ankle in and our foot out. We pull back our entire leg piece and bring this all the way down and around to get it past that, um, that I guess that ankle. We're gonna bring the foot piece back here and we're gonna close it in again. And we're going to put it in the back of the leg like we always did. We're gonna close this uh, up and, sorry, fold it up out here on the leg. And now that we have the foot back in the thigh and we have the whole back filler here on the leg we can take the whole thing and push it in there and now we're going to find the right way to get the foot to the side we're going to find the right way to rotate this there you go to get it in bring this down bring it out and that is how the back is done I think the Go Better Studio set is a little bit of work, certainly for the lower legs, but with the feet fillers and with the uh, horns that make them a little more animation accurate, I think that this is a solid set. Now the feet come on a sprue, you're gonna have to kind of get them off the sprue and cut the little pieces off, at least I did. Um, and there's a centerpiece, I actually put both centerpieces in. Um, then there's the toe piece up here, which looks like looks like this, right? It, it kind of looks like an L. It is painted, so the paint is scraped off up right here. Not a big deal though. But this is the toe. All it does is it just slots in there. And then you'll see a heel down back. And I just wanna make sure that I'm getting the right, um, yeah. You, you got a heel down back and again, the heel piece just looks like this. This is the back of it, right? And the heel piece will simply, oh, didn't want to do it there for me then. Well, 
will simply slide in like that and now his feet are filled in and it does look nice I'm not gonna lie and that brings us to sludge all right so now we have sludge we have kind of really I guess technically two slash well, two sets two sets we have the Superman studio set plus we have the matrix workshop set so the Superman studio set first it comes with very heavy duty fillers now they also tout that you can use part of it to really open up the inside of the leg and put it in the ratchet that's there to fill it but I didn't do that because mine my knees are fine luckily my ratchets are fine however I would have made a mistake uh, and wouldn't have been able to do it anyway so if you get the Superman Studios one and you want it to fill the leg when you get it we have pieces like this no, um, they're kind of like this and when we have these pieces they're attached by sprues and there's a, like a left side and a right side that are attached by kind of heavy duty sprues going across the center the heavy duty sprues going across the center that's what you're supposed to use in the leg ratchet I didn't realize that when I cut these pieces off I just threw the sprues in the garage um, so if you need it for the you know solidity for the leg ratchets um, don't throw the sprues away when you cut them off. This is very heavy duty plastic, very grainy heavy duty plastic, and it feels very robust. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm lucky I didn't need the, the uh, sprues, but if you do, don't throw them away. That's my big warning with this set. We have fillers for the feet and fillers for the dino legs. So I'm gonna show both of the dino legs first, just because why not? And I'm going to show you one that's done and one that's not done. Okay? And I'm going to do that just to get that and that out of the way. Let's, let's put his head down just to get all of this up and out of the way. And we have two dino legs back here. Now, I'm actually going to go in closer on them so we can see specifically what it is we're trying to see. Okay, very, very simple here. Um, this leg right here is hollow on the inside. When we fold this, like out around like this right it would be hollow if we turned it out like you can see that's hollow right right that would be his front leg this one same thing it would be hollow when we get it out however that one now has a filler in it so it's a very simple little filler um, again it, I mean it's nothing special but it fits in there quite nicely I will tell you now though, you definitely, definitely need to uh, like deal with the sprues. So I just cut this one off a moment ago off camera and we're gonna get, come here and put it in. So now simple, right? It's all the way in. So now I'm going to just take this back and bring it down. I'm gonna take this back and turn it, just bring it down. Thusly, now we're going to get to the feet. Again, you're going to have to deal with sprues. As you can see, we have a big piece up front, a heel in the back, and then two side pieces. So the big piece up front, again, we would cut it off, and we would come here, and that whole piece should... squeeze up and in there. And then we have the heel. which again is a bit of a tight squeeze to get in there then we have then we have the side piece um, over here and that goes in like that and as you probably guessed we have one piece left and this one should this is always the hardest one I find there and that should go in like that so that's the feet filled you could use sprue pieces bigger sprue pieces than this like I explained earlier to fill in the knee uh, if you need the ratchet stronger honestly you can kind of fill the knee in with anything if you want to open it up and widen out the knee as long as you got something that fills it in you'll be fine and then that leaves one last final set but we have to kind of get oh actually that's wrong there's one more part to this set that I need to talk about, and it's this. And it's this shield. 
Um, it will become a chest filler in the dino mode, but it's a shield here. And he just holds it in his hand. It uh, is just a little handle back here, right? So it's it's nice. It's that same robust kind of plastic, grainy feeling, silver. I am pretty sure the silver is painted. I don't think it's done in silver. Um, then we can move on to our next set. So we have the fillers for the legs, for the feet, and the shield piece. Nice set from uh, Superman Studios, but we also have the Matrix Workshop set. The Matrix Workshop set adds for us, uh, I'm going to say a missile for the front of this blaster, if you want to continue to use this blaster, but maybe you, you remember as a lad having your sludge and he had this cool blaster, very iconic looking, I love that he has that, and we also have a sword that goes in his hand from Matrix Workshop. Looks very, very nice. Um, very, very happy with it. And the other thing that Matrix Workshop has is also for Dino Mode. And it's the visor that covers the eyes and the like googly eyes for um, the way, you know, Devastator hit him in the movie and... The way that goes together is very, very simple. I mean, you have your uh, your visor here, and then it's two holes in it, and you just take your googly eyes, and they go down into the two holes like that. So, yeah, I mean, cool, I suppose. Nice sword, uh, nice blaster for sure. Uh, the little missile thing is neat. And like I said, the only other thing then that this has is the googly eyes. So why don't we put them in the dino mode so we can see both the chest filler and the googly eyes. So I only did half a transformation because I wanted to try and do this quickly. So we have the eyes up here. It's just, it just, it just slots on over his eyes that are there, right? You put it on, you slide it on. The gold is slightly different, but I don't think to the naked eye you're going to notice it. Of course, his googly eyes are up there the way he got hit. Uh, down here, I don't know if you can see the uh, leg fillers I do have turned out. Um, this is this is neat for that, that one scene, right? And, of course, up underneath now, we don't have any hollowness down here. This just fits in. It tabs in on the two sides of the two side pieces. And, honestly, like, it looks pretty darn nice. It's pretty clean. I don't know if I would have went with silver or if I would have gone with... Um, went with I would have went with yeah have went have gone grammar guys I don't know if I would have gone with the uh, silver or if I would have tried to match the gray the nice thing about the silver is that it's silver it's easy right uh, I, I think the silver is okay though because all of this section is silver so it kind of wraps around to the undercarriage and the under tummy so I think I'm okay with it even though right here isn't silver I think I'm okay with down here being silver on the whole, for all of these lads and their sets, I think we have some real winners. I mean, it's, is any of it necessary? No, they're great as they are. But if you are interested enough, if you think, hey, you know what? It'd be nice if it was just a little more filled in or a little more ideal. They're great sets to get. For example, with Grimlock, it's nice to have the forearms filled in. Um, and, like, I have a crown for him for King Grimlock, of course, and, you know, a couple of swords. It, it, having front teeth is nice. Then for this guy here, having the horns be able to go down lower to be a little more animation accurate is nice, and they are filled in. Also nice. The feet fillers, ah, I mean, I could take it or leave it, but I'm not going to complain about having it. Uh, the back leg sections, pretty neat how that works. I don't know if it's worth all the effort for the payoff of filling in the back of the legs, but you know what? Maybe, and again, I'm not going to complain about it. It's clean in robot mode and it's functional in dino mode. And then we get to sludge at the very end. The feed fillers, nice. If you had to fix your ratchets, like I said, keep the sprues between the feed pieces. They're big and they will fit in there and fill in the space. I didn't need to do it. But filling in the feed, neat. Uh, you'll notice I have the shield now on his shoulder because you can open out the handle and put it in as like a, a, a shoulder buckler. Um, 
when we get to the Matrix Workshop one, having the googly eyes is nice. Uh, the little missile piece, I guess that's cool. I don't really know why it's there, but I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, having the G1 kind of toy accurate blaster, fantastic. And having that beautiful sword, fantastic. The Matrix Workshop for Sludge, great. Superman Studios for Sludge, great. And the Go Better Studios set for um, Slug slash Slag, also great. I am a happy camper. And here we are once again, and here they are. So, let's deal with this guy first. Um, so, the horns on top up here are way better. Whether you want the red ones or you want the, uh, like, show accurate ones. I would want the show accurate ones. They're not hollow. Um, they do rotate down, so they hang kind of lower behind his head, just as they should. <clears throat> and honestly, I think that they're pretty darn nice. I think that they kind of turned out really well. The big difference with this guy um, relates to the fillers and the legs, and I struggled to really figure out, A, how the kind of new sections went on, how it affected the new legs. It does give him a little bit of ankle tilt, I suppose, a little bit of added articulation, and the transformation is definitely more involved for the leg, but it does clean up quite nice in the back. Um, is the gray a perfect match? No, it's slightly darker, but like I don't think you're going to notice. I really don't think you're going to notice. It's not it's not darker enough to make any kind of difference. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all painted, by the way. I think it's maybe a resin cast and painted, um, but it looks good. It looks great. I think the upgrade kits for this guy are an absolute success. I really, really dig them. Um, take that for what you will, right? But his were the <clears throat> simpler ones. Then we get to Sludge. And Sludge has a couple upgrade kits uh, on him now. I love that we can do the uh, covering his eyes thing. I think uh, DNA Design also did an upgrade for that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these came from Matrix Workshop, I believe, in Superman Studio. Something like that. I said it in the review, anyway. And um, I apologize if I'm getting some of the kits' names wrong, because we looked at a number of them in this review. I adore that we now have his toy accurate blaster. Though, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the um, more show accurate one. It's just, I had Sludge as a kid. He was my favorite Dinobot. This was an iconic blaster to me. I love that he has a sword, fits in his hand just fine. It's great. Uh, the, I, I guess we'll call it chest piece for when he's in dino mode to cover up the cavity underneath. Feels so robust. It feels really, really good. And it's nice that it can go on his shoulder as a buckler, as a shield. I think the silver was probably the right choice rather than going with a, a dark gray. The silver was certainly easier to match to the silver on his wings. Is it a perfect match? Well, no. You can see the two different silvers there. But come on. It's silver, right? It, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, a ton of fillers in the feet. By the way, fillers in the feet for the other Dinobot boy as well. Um, I think it's great. Again, are they absolutely necessary? Probably not. You would get away fine the way that they are. The only thing that I kind of messed up on here and wasn't able to show, not that I need it luckily for mine, is taking out the two screws on the inside of the leg and you're supposed to keep um, a, like a crossbar from the sprue and you're able to put it in the uh, knee ratchet to fill it in. But truth be known, if you open up the leg, there's a cavity there in a little white rectangle in the knee ratchet, and honestly, just fill it in with whatever, and it should keep your ratchet pushed down and vastly improve the knee articulation if you have knee articulation issues on your sludge. Uh, again, I think that the upgrade kits here worked out really well. I'm super duper happy with them. For all three of the Dinobots, I have been blessed uh, by Joe really kind of setting me up with uh, some great upgrade kits. I think all of them are effective and improving things tremendously. Let me know what you think about the upgrade kits. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you if you're in a position to help the channel to grow. You can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through Spring or course. Hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stick around, have some fun with us here on the channel. And especially don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, you right there, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, right here inside the videos.